So today we're going to learn the density formula and use that density formula to calculate volume, mass, or density. Okay, so our density formula, first when we're talking about density, that's really the measure of the amount, like a gram, per space, like a volume. So thus, the units for this are going to be grams per volume. Okay, and that actually tells us the formula. This is something that is very kind of easy to remember. Density is the amount of stuff. It's like a mass per unit volume. And so we can abbreviate mass as M and volume as V. And so the unit for mass is the gram. Unit for volume is the milliliter or centimeter cubed. So the units here are always going to be grams per milliliter or grams per cubic centimeter because one milliliter equals one cubic centimeter. And so because we have multiple units that we could use, I like to use this as an example for um, all values in your work, be it in class, be it in the lab, whatever you're doing, it should include both a number and the units. Because if you don't have the units, you're not entirely sure what's going on. Like it might be zero, your density is 0 0.3. Well, are you using grams per centimeter cubed? Are you using grams per milliliter? Are you using kilograms? We don't know. And so the units really kind of make it fair. So make sure that you always include your units. And also in this case, if you're given something with units, it tells you what to do. And so algebraically, we can use this to our advantage. And speaking of algebraically, there's actually three formulas within the density formula that we can look at. So we've got density equals mass per volume. Just knowing this one, we can rearrange to solve for mass. We can rearrange to solve for volume. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly, and then we'll answer some questions. Okay, so if we solve for mass first, so here's our starting, starting point. That's formula number one. This will solve for density because density is all alone on its, by itself. So if we want to solve for mass, mass shown in green now, what we're going to do is we're going to start with density equals mass over volume. Our goal is to get mass by itself. In order to get mass by itself, Algebraically, we can multiply both sides by volume. What that's going to do, it's, like, it's just like solving for x. It's going to cancel the top and the bottom here, so that effectively removes the volume from the bottom here, leaving mass by itself. And we've got density multiplied by volume here, because according to algebra, whatever you do to one side of the equal sign, you must do to the other to make it even. So we've got v, d, equals m, and we can just switch those two places. Mass equals volume times density. Okay, so that's the second equation that we can get. And we didn't have, you could memorize this, or you can just remember d equals m over v and solve for it later. Okay, so how about volume? Let's solve for volume. This one's a little tricky. So density equals mass times volume. And so, when we want to get volume by itself, it also has to be in the, in the numerator, not the denominator. So what I would probably do is probably start the same way as here. To get rid of it on the bottom and put it on the top, I multiply both sides by V. The V will cancel on this side, top to bottom, just like in algebra. And we get V times D equals M. The volume is not by itself yet. We've got this D next to it, so we can divide both sides by D because it will cancel top to bottom. Cancel, cancel, nothing over here cancels. And now volume is alone equals mass over density. So from that one equation, we now have three equations. Density equals mass over volume, mass equals volume time times density, and volume equals mass over density. 
Okay, so now let's use this to solve a problem. And so we're only going to have to use one of these formulas at a time. So let's find the volume of a solution. Find the volume of a solution if you have 3 grams and a density of 1 gram per milliliter. Okay, so pause the video and figure out which formula you would need to solve this and then come back. Okay, welcome back. So, first up, let's figure out what known we have and what unknown we have. So, our knowns, we know we have 3 grams, but we don't know if that's mass or volume or density because it doesn't say it just as 3 grams, but we could figure that out. And then we know that the density equals 1 gram per milliliter. Okay, so thing is, we could, there's multiple ways that we can figure out what's going on here. For my, my favorite way is to look at the units. Whenever you see grams, you know that that's mass. And the second way is you could use process of elimination. We know that density is involving mass and volume, and we're trying to find the volume and we were also given the density that was specifically spelled out, so we know that the third part had to be mass. Okay, so the formula that we want to use for this is going to be V equals M over D. And then we just plug in the values. So M equals 3 grams, 3 grams on the top there. Density equals 1 gram per milliliter. And now, this gram is on the top, this gram is on the bottom, we can cancel that. that. This milliliter is on the bottom of the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to write this in a different way. Three, because we have to s make sure that the units are okay. One, and then this is one over milliliters at this point, because the grams have canceled. So, in order to get this off of the bottom, we can multiply this part by milliliters and also this part by milliliters. So you can multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same thing. It's going to cancel on the bottom. There's nothing to cancel it up, uh, with up here. 3 divided by 1 is 3, so that's the numerical side. The answer is 3. And then milliliters on top, nothing on the bottom. Milliliters are the units. So now what we can do is double check our milliliters appropriate units for volume Yes, they are. Okay, so that was probably one of the more challenging density questions that you can face, but now you know exactly what to do and why the units would work out and why the units can be used to check your answer. Thank you for listening.